My best friend, he texts me, he said, hey, you notice anything going on with my eye? They go in there, there's a tumor intertwined into his brain stem. April 24th, and they told us that he died, swelling in the brain. Truly, I didn't get over that. That same stuff kind of kept going on for the next two years or so. Some stuff came into my head today just about thinking about like, what's gonna have to happen when I go back. The way God has helped me through that, he's just literally given me like every chance to go do stuff that's not where my bad was. I guess I went to Strom. That was a year removed from high school. Came and did the 40. That was some of the first real peace I got after that. So this will be the end of my journey this year for Strom. I got a phone call last night. I don't know what his you know, choice will be on at that point, whether he wants to stay or he wants to go home. I don't know. Okay. We're SROM, Solid Rock Outdoor Ministries. We've spent the last 30 years training people to be leaders in the wilderness. This time, we're taking a group of SROM veterans on their own course into Red Rock Canyon and the remote Grand Canyon to go deeper <laughs> and live 15 days in the wilderness. Get up, we'll fight the darkness right beside you day and day out. Forget the taste behind us now. You are to say yeah. I'm ready for the adventure. <laughs> Here are our stories in the canyon. This will be the end of my journey this year for Strom. Um, I got a phone call last night uh, from my parents telling me that um, uh, my ex-girlfriend, her name is Macy, uh, we're still pretty good friends, uh, found out that she was in a car accident. She's currently in ICU and um, not really sure what's gonna happen. So uh, I read about it last night and I've decided that I need to step away and go be there. I just don't think I could go into the canyon right now with that on my heart and knowing. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be flying out today. So, it's been a good time and I've definitely really enjoyed being here with everybody, so. Uh, I just hope that everybody else does well, has a good time in the Grand Canyon. Plans can change for sure, so. Uh, I don't know, I feel like I've got a more peace about everything since being out here, so. Uh, it's been a while since that's happened, so. We're ready to transition. So, pack day. So, if you like Tetris, today's the day for you. <laughs> All right. Let's go. The Grand Canyon is just a special place for me personally. Thank you, instructors, for the rock lessons. Thank you, yes. Ain't no pavilions in the Grand Canyon, y'all. We're not going to have one of these in the Grand Canyon. We're hoping to have a little water in the Grand Canyon. Something to jump in, possibly. We don't know. God. Fresh water. I know this trap. <laughs> Yes! 
Victory, some, victory! Got some thin blood. Boom! What are we doing, Bob? We're going down there! I've been to the Grand Canyon just overlooking it, but actually being able to be inside and experiencing that. Whenever I come back, it's, it's just a special place. Wow. Never been, you know? It's gonna be amazing. Something about this place. And it's so far down. Look at it. One of our core course components at SRAM is leadership development. And we have what's called LODs, which stands for leaders of the day. Like we want, if you're just out here for your first 10 day course, you will have an opportunity to lead for a day. They chose us to be the leaders of the day for our first day. You get to break the ice as leaders of the day, which is always fun. So. First LOD. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, let's do it. Let's first, do it. First leaders of the day. So. And then please. every day it'll be new people. Um, they work in pairs, like two co leaders working together. So we took the map last night with our headlamps. It was really dark and late, and we went through a RAD plan. A RAD plan or a route and description plan, which includes the five essentials of wilderness travel. Time, so time of departure, time of arrival, um, distance, elevation, hazards, and water. So what's our water situation tomorrow? We have it. Yep, already. and the reason why we're doing that is because there's no water source right. mm -hmm. yeah. on this whole esplanade. Right. Yeah. So Which we, we call a dry camp. I think Vernon Wong's really nailed down that water, water situation because we need to know that and we also need to know where is our last water so we know where to fill up. A huge piece of that is the co-instructing component. We really believe it's from that you have to lead with someone, like that's an this idea of like support and community of God is that you're never doing it by yourself. See, they're really in charge of facilitating the day. This limestone layer, right? Mm hmm. And I think you already spotted it, Esplanade, all this kind of more flat. Chelsea and I are there, but we definitely, once we incorporate LODs, kind of take more of a background approach and really empower them. So that's kind of somewhere in here. Yeah. It's basically where we're mm -hmm. going to camp for your knowledge. Any questions? No, not right now. We're excited for you all. We're, we're proud yeah. that you are our first LOD. <laughs> first one. Yeah. And for sure, we are like your biggest fans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is she getting stoked about it? Yeah, she I'm loves sorry. it, loves and it. so I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this whole week, it's like in camp by noon. That's cool. And if we're not, we're then, siesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we're going to Don't want to risk the heat yeah. exhaustion. You know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> figured out our, our game plan last night and we briefed the team this morning and... You want your chocolate? It's early. We're lost. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just got done with breakfast. We're packing up to head down into the canyon. We have approximately 40 minutes to have all of our stuff packed up and be hiking out. So we just divided up all of our group food and gear uh, so we can pack it up. Yep. All right, family's been long enough. Get over here now. <laughs> seven means seven. <laughs> Dang it, kids. We are at Bill rad. Hall Trail right now, Monument Point, and we're gonna arrive no later than 12, so that's our goal. Distance is four miles. Seems pretty easy, but it's gonna be some crazy elevation. We won't have water today. It's gonna be really heavy packs. Maps oriented, so right behind us is anybody? The Great Canyon! Does everyone have uh, fuel bottles filled? We only need two for every, for the whole group. One or two <laughs> <you're done. laughs> And that's all you need to know. <laughs> Let's do Let's this. Let's get going. Let's drop. Careful people, lean into the mountain if you fall.